Literally, Chloe, are you fucking serious right now? Oh my gosh, Kim. Literally, metaphorically, take a chill pill. You're so done right now. Oh my gosh, Kim, you literally cry about everything. You are so strong. We can get through this together. We can do it together. Literally, shut up, Chloe, shut up. Okay. Okay. Oh no, oh yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> you literally didn't do that. Oh shit, I'm just fucked up. I quit, man. Hello, my name is Jeremy Clarkson, and this is the best show in the world. Today on the show, you'll see me. Me. James May. And Richard Hammond came up a little short this time, so he won't be able to make it. Today on Top Gear, we'll be doing a challenge. The crew member will give us a card, and the card will determine the challenge that we do. Shit. Now this, this is the car I picked for our special event today. It is the 2014 Sol 93 GT 3000. And it's got a stripe. Ooh. This is an Audi A4 2.0-liter twin-turbo. So our challenge is a two-meter race. Well, good thing I've chosen a car with excellent acceleration. You've got to be pulling my leg right now. My Audi A4 can out-accelerate a Saab any day of the week, including Sunday. We'll see, Captain Slow. I'm not Captain Slow, but due to my recent DUI, I've had to hire a driver for me. This is the Twig. Hey, I'm the Twig. I'm from Southside Chicago. Excuse me, Twig. We did not ask for your life story. I, I'm, I'm sorry. Just please, back up, back up. B budget cuts. What can you do? Well, it looks like I've won. Mate, I won. You're ridiculous. You're ridiculous. And on that bombshell, good night. Hey, man versus food here. I'm here in El Paso, New Mexico to get some classic Mexican cuisine today. And um, I thought I'd take you along. We're just showing up at a random restaurant. It's kind of bad outside, so let me take you inside. Let's get some food. Hey, welcome. Hey, hey I'm Man, Man, from Man vs. Food. I'm Man, the manager. Man Mannington. It's very nice to meet you. Um, give me your best dish and give me it now. Um, I'm going to have to ask you to take off your sunglasses. All right, so what do you got for me today on the menu? Uh, well, today on the menu we've got uh, chili bellano, chili bellano, we've got uh, sashimi, uh, we got the chicken parmesan, we got. Uh, we got uh, oh, great! Those sound like some great dishes. If you so could take me back to the, to the thing and um, show me how you get cooking. Okay, okay, this way, this way. All right, thank you, thank you. Now these look like some homegrown tomatoes for you viewers at home that don't understand this. Looks like it was grown on the farm. Sir, sir, please take off your freaking sunglasses. You're going to trip or something. The lighting in here is very dim. Alright, for those of you at home that don't know a classic Mexican cuisine, most of the ingredients are homegrown. And here in the New Mexico, they really like to abide by that standard. Alright, here we got some 
freshly grown cherries. Tastes like shit. Um, got some blueberries here. I fucking hate blueberries. Um, and we got a bong here. I'm probably gonna need to rip this later. And also this grinding rock shit. I don't know what the so hell that, that is. That is the heroin. The heroin? Yes, so fuck. Well, yeah, I don't know. Most of these ingredients are homegrown, though. And it's really just impressive to see what these farmers can really do. Now it's time for the segment of our show where we do the food challenge. All right, I'm gonna need you to give me your most spicy dish. And I'm gonna need you to give it to me and I'm gonna challenge myself to complete eating that dish by consuming all the contents of that dish, whether it is spicy or whether it is not spicy. Now I need you to bring that dish to me and I will complete it for my viewers. Yeah, yeah, that's basically the gist of it. Uh, we usually do not do food challenges, uh, but if you will take off your fucking sunglasses, um, we can make an exception. Okay, today I make a dish that has the tree foam and the, has the grass in it in the middle and I made it with my bare hand and I made it with my bare hand and I tried to make the tree with my bare hand and I used my bare hand to make the tree the and the tree made the bare hand. Uh, Sebastian, if you please. Yes. Okay. What he was trying to say is uh, this is a very, very, very spicy dish uh, that no challenger has yet completed. Um, so hopefully this one provides a worthy challenge for you and I hope you enjoy it. You have a very homey feel to this restaurant here. Thank you. There you have it. Now as you guys know, I don't like to back down from any challenge. So first I like to get a little, um, how do I say it? A little feel for what I'm about to eat. So I, I normally like to start, if I, if I didn't know better, it, Smells a little bit like chloroform, I'd say. Um, nope, you're wrong. Um, that is very safe. That's oh. like super safe. Um, very good. I trust Sebastian. Uh, so, I guess guys, we'll just start digging into it right now and. Um... Sorry, I just thought about my dog that died yesterday. Food isn't gonna win this time. Holy sh! Holy shit! That is spicy. If I've ever had something in my life before, uh, you can do it. You can do it. I, I trust you. You can do it. Finish it up, man. You got it. Ah, uh, um, chairman, uh, go. Uh, the, the, the turn off. All right, Sebastian, you filming? I'll keep you. The job's done. Uh, that guy was really pissing me off. I'm so glad. I've been working with him for eight years. You know what I'm talking about. Yep. We killed a man. Where are we gonna do? Where are we gonna put this guy? Find the closet. This is your restaurant. What's going on guys? It's Phil from Phil's Grill here. And today, we're doing an outdoor barbecue. We got tons of meat tons of vegetables, all kinds of good stuff, and we're gonna make it a great feast. Let's go outside. Oh crap, um, it's raining. Oh, let's, let's cut to commercial. Uh, it's live. Uh, how much long do, how much longer do we have? Uh, like 20 minutes. Okay. All right, we're back from commercial break now. So no, wait, no, there was never a commercial break. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 